Hey guys, happy Monday. How are you? I don't know about you. It is hot as blue blazes outside. I'm curious, wherever you're tuning in from, tell me, tell me where you're tuning in from. And I'm just curious, what's the temperature today? What's the temperature gonna be for you? So I'm looking over here. I wanna make sure I get my laptop set up. So that way as you pop on here, I can see you. And I don't know if you remember, about a week and a half ago, I showed you how to make the cutest rectangle purse. And I wanna show you how to make this one. Hopefully this will pop up in just a second. Hold on. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Gina look at that real quick. So as you pop on here, say, hey, tell me where you're tuning in from. And I'd love to know what the temperature is today, where you are. I think the high for us today is in the mid 90s, but the humidity is really high and it's, it's so hot. But guess what? Football season, it's on its way. And we have all kinds of things. When I think about crafts fairs and I think about everything that I love about fall, September is my favorite month. I don't know about y'all, is it yours? I love September, I love October, but I, I get a little stressed out in November. But anyway, I'm gonna prepare. I say that every year, y'all like that. So I showed y'all this darling purse um, a few weeks ago and I said, I wanna show you, I'm gonna pop on here and show you how easy it is. It's so fun, it's so easy. And I, I think it's very chic. It's very expensive looking. I have gone in really cute um, home decor and dress shops that have purses like this, because why? We're going into concerts, we go into football games, and they want us to have clear purses or they have to go through our purse. This way, it's so easy. You can put your phone in this, you can put your lipstick, a credit card, and you're good to go. And I think it's really fun if you think about, if you've got, um, if you've got granddaughters, if you've got daughters, this is a great project to be able to do. I think it's even fun to be able to get together. Um, I've gotten to where now when we get together and we've, we have functions, we like to make something. We like to be able to say, okay, this is a project that we're gonna be doing. This is something that's really easy and a lot of fun. So I wanna show you how to do it. And I think you're gonna be surprised um, at how easy it is, how inexpensive it is and what these could actually sell for. I have been in Nordstrom's. Um, I can't remember what city I was in. It may have been Atlanta, um, but they had acrylic purses. Guys, they were $345 for an acrylic purse. So you can make these to where you don't have embellishments on it, but I think it's so fun, um, especially if you have someone, if you wanna be able to create a letter and the flowers, which I think is darling, that was done on this one. So I wanna walk you through how to do this. As you pop on here, Here's the deal. Say, hey, tell me where you're tuning in from. And guess what? Every time I do these lives, I always like to do a giveaway. Share this video, tag three friends, and your name is gonna go in for a drawing. And then on Thursday, we're, we're gonna be launching some new stencil designs on Thursday. So I'm gonna be back on here on Thursday. I wanna show you the new stencil designs. You're gonna be so excited. One of them, just a secret, is fungi. Mushrooms are huge. So we're gonna be having um, two new stencils that we're gonna be launching and I'm gonna be showing you what those are and then the projects that we've done with them. So as you pop on here, say, hey, tell me where you're tuning in from. Tell me how hot it is where you are. And then uh, share this video, tag some good friends and your name's gonna go in for a drawing. And on Thursday, we'll announce the winner um, of the purse. We're gonna be giving the purse kit away and the resin. I should be on a maker studio. Am I on a maker studio? Okay, I should be. All right, am I on a maker studio or am I on Amy Hart at home? Y'all tell me, am I, I should be on a maker studio. So I just wanna make sure. So as you pop on here, say hey, and I wanna walk you through. So I'm gonna turn this down. Hey, Mary Hansen, hey, Brandy. Hey guys, as you pop on here, I'm gonna turn this down and I wanna be able to show you what it is that I'm doing and I wanna walk you through the steps. All right, so here we go. All right, so when you're, anytime you're working with um, acrylic resin, 
you're gonna have molds and they're always gonna be synthetic um, silicone molds like this. It allows you to be able to pour it up and be able to pop out your resin um, after you're finished with it and when it's cured. So they're so easy to work with. I really want this, I know a lot of you have been so faithful. You love making things with our stencils, but guys, I'm just gonna tell you, resin is so much fun. It's so addictive and it's so easy to do. So I, this is my, my resin mold for my purse. Now, don't pay any attention to these pie shapes on the back of it. This is basically the structure of the silicone mold because we're gonna be working on this side and making the purse. So the purse that we're doing, as you pop on here, if you're just now seeing this, it has a framework. It actually comes with the kit and you've got a front and a back, but you only have one mold. So when you get it, don't think, okay, I'm missing something because um, it, you're only gonna need one and that's gonna be the front as well as the back. So first thing we're gonna need to do is we're gonna need to mix up our resin. So I am gonna have these two measuring cups and they're silicone as well. I know a lot of times, and I'm one of those people, I love going to Goodwill, I love buying measuring cups and using them, but it's a situation where when you're working with the resin, please get these silicone measuring cups. I promise you're gonna be much happier with it in the long run. So if you've not uh, watched me do this before, I'm showing you how to make this darling little purse. We do need to be working with um, our acrylic resin, which is A, and our acrylic hardener, which is the B. These always go together. You always have to mix them um, at the same time. So I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna do half of this so I can use the container. And it's got great little markers on the side so that way you can see exactly how much you're pouring in so that way they're the same. Guys, as you pop on here, say, hey, tell me where you're trying. Take my hardener and the hardener is much thinner so it's going to go a lot faster and I have I've got to where I can see these lines inside my measuring cups so I can make sure that it's exact when you're doing this please make sure that it is exact all right, so now I'm gonna go on and pour my hardener into my resin. And as I'm pouring it in, I'm making sure that I'm stirring it pretty vigorously. It's best if you can to go on and stir it while you're mixing them. And the process of mixing needs to take about three minutes. I have noticed when I've worked on this, if I am not if I don't stir it really well for three minutes, my resin will be kind of sticky. So I wanna make sure that I continue to pour all this in here. I wanna make sure that y'all can see me. All right, so I'm gonna to continue to stir this up just a little bit. Guys, this is a time that you wanna be able to share this video, because if you share this video, your name's gonna go in for a drawing, because I'm gonna be giving one of these purse kits away. What a great, fun thing to win. All right, so I'm just wanting to make sure that I stir this up really well. You're gonna notice when you do this, you'll create some um, bubbles, and that's okay. The thing is, you can keep a heat gun with you or just a hair dryer. And if you start to see bubbles in your resin, just put the heat, the heat gun or the hair dryer over it and it will pop those bubbles and you won't have any problem with it. But I do wanna make sure that this is stirred up really well. So that way it's not cloudy. The great thing about our resin is that it is not Yellow, it's a non-yellowing resin. There's a lot of less expensive resins out there that you're gonna see that are gonna be different. And I'm just popping over here because I wanna be able to see. Okay, all right. So now, I feel good about that, it's stirred up. And I'm gonna set this aside and now I'm gonna bring back my mold. Now, again, you're, this is not the side that you're working with. You want the flat side of your mold. And now, because of the, the silicone 
cup that I mixed it in, it's also got an area on it so that I can pour it right here. Now, I can set it here in the center and it's gonna flood over it because what you can't see is the frame of the purse, it's gonna fall over down into this side where that's the, actually the edge of my purse. So I'm just gonna pour it in the very center of my mold. I'm not gonna go around it because that way I can make sure that it's kind of flowing off at the same time. Can you see it? See how it's starting to fill up? See those little bubbles, the little air? It's best to pour just a little bit at a time so that allows it to be able to just kind of level out. Okay, that's good. Here's the awesome thing. It took very little, look at this. It didn't even take um, half of my cup to be able to do one side. So those of you that are wondering with a kit, how many of these purses can you make um, with just the eight ounce, which this, with the kit, it turns out to be 16 ounces. You could probably make, I would say two purses. Now, so that way after this dries, I want to make sure that I allow it to dry about 24 hours. After about an hour, it will set up. So that way I can move it fairly easily without having any problems with it. So now here's something else I want to be able to do. Um, in the kit that you get, if you want to, you can go to the link below and we've got a link to the, the actual purse kit that I'm showing you. It comes with the flowers. One of the fun things is depending on whatever letter you have, you can take the larger little flowers out and you can spell it into a letter like this. Or if you want, you can just do like a cute little bouquet on it. I, I think I love this and the fact that your only, um, your only drawback is your imagination. So I'm just gonna take some of these and I wanna set them in. I'm gonna create kind of a little bouquet. And now I've just poured these up. If you're going to be placing in your flowers, you wanna make sure that you're doing it while it is still wet like this. You don't want it to dry and set up. See how it's literally falling down in this? Now I'm gonna show you a little trick in just a minute. But I wanna lay some more of my flowers in. I think it would be a lot of fun to um, even dry some of your flowers. I promised you I'm going to get back on here and I'm going to be showing you how to dry some flowers when someone gives you some birthday flowers or if you have an anniversary gift. Jean Howard is always so good about giving me flowers and I'm always so sad when they die. I'm going to come, oh, look at that, is that like the cutest thing ever? So cute. So that way I can come here and I can build up this darling little bouquet on my purse. Again, you need to be able to go in and lay your flowers in while this is still wet. Now, a lot of times too, I haven't been able to find mine. I usually will work with some tweezers so that way I can pick the flowers up with my tweezers and it makes it a lot easier. Look at this. I love these where they're sprayed out like that. They show up so cute. Um, because I've got one here in that right hand corner, I'm gonna come and lay one down here just for texture. Guys, as you pop on here, please say hey. Tell me where you're tuning in from. If you've not seen a Maker Studio before, my name is Amy Howard. And I am um, the mother maker here at a maker studio. I love what they say. I love to craft a beautiful life. I love creating really beautiful, elegant things that looks like you bought them in a really high-end shop. Because one, this is something that you can carry around. You know, we joke all the time about enjoying the bragging rights. Can you imagine having this on? going to a concert, going to um, going on a night out, going to a football game where we've got to have these acrylic purses and being able to have something that people are like, where in the world did you get that? And you can say, I made it. Those of you that love crafting, that you love making things, I'm just gonna tell you, this is one of those things that you could make and resell very, very easily. All right, I'm gonna actually split my baby's breath up. 
Now, the cool thing is, if you don't like the placement, you can come in and, and just take it out like this while our resin is still wet and it's not gonna affect anything. All right, so now I'm gonna need to let this set up and I'm gonna kind of scooch this over to the side. I wanna be careful because this is gonna be a really darling purse for somebody. So I'm gonna be real careful. After about an hour, I don't have to worry about it, but um, because it'll have a tendency to set up by then. But I do want it to dry for about 24 hours. Now here's one that we had done earlier uh, before I went live. And it's really cute if you wanna be able to spell out a letter to be able to personalize it um, on your purse. So what I had shared with you, if you're just now popping on, say, hey, tell me where you're tuning in from. And I'm curious what the temperature is at your hometown today, um, because it's really hot here in Florida. But when we do one side, and after this is cured for 24 hours, then we go back and we do the same thing again, but we're just gonna do it clear like this. So you see where it fell down um, into that little uh, gully that we had? Basically, when we pop that out of our mold, this is what it's gonna look like. So that way we've got our front as well as our back. So now we're just gonna come and we're gonna be working with our, um, with our purse frame. And this comes in the kit. And you can do a couple of things. One, you can take the resin that we did, and you wanna be able to get a pipette like this, and go into and pull just a little bit out, and the resin itself is gonna act like a glue. You can use a hot glue gun, or you can use the resin. So I'm gonna put just a little bit down in here like this, and go all the way around. And believe it or not, this is, this is a difficult thing to pour. So it's really good if you can lay in just enough of the resin to act as your glue. And this little pipette makes it so, so easy and so fun because you get right down in there and squeeze that resin. So I wanna make sure that I go all the way around Again, if you want to, you can do the hot glue gun too. But while I've got this here, there's no, there's no need. And it's just too easy to go in and put the resin in. Okay, so I just wanna make my way all the way around then that way I can show you. Guys, this is a great opportunity. If you share our video today of this purse, your name is gonna go in for a drawing and we're gonna be making an announcement on Thursday who the winner is. Okay, you know, this, I really think this would be a great Christmas gift, don't y'all? A great birthday gift. The whole idea of having to have clear purses, who would have thought in order to go into football games, it makes it really not only easy, but you look, you look adorable. Okay. All right. So now after we've got just a, a layer, a very even layer of the acrylic in our frame, I can come back and I can just lay one side in like this, press it down in there. So that way it gets all the way, um, all the way around closed off. Now, if you've got a bouquet, just so you know, there is, with the hinge, there is a bottom, and then of course the top. So you wanna make sure that your bouquet is down here and it goes up, or if there's a letter, you wanna make sure that it's not upside down. So then all we have to do is turn it over like this and do the same thing again. Fill the pipette all the way around, and then go in and put the back on our purse and that way that's going to be attached and then with the kit the great thing about it is we have these chains that come with it that allow you to be able to just clip on the edges you can shorten the chain if you want to but that way you can clip it on the sides and you've got a darling darling 
purse that I think it's all about enjoying the bragging rights from. Is that not the cutest thing? I just, when, when I tell you I have seen these at really high-end shops and they were several hundred dollars, you have an opportunity. You can buy the kit and guess what? You can make one for yourself and you can customize one and give it away as a gift. And I'm just gonna tell you, the gal that you give this to is gonna think, one, you are uber creative and uber thoughtful, but also I think she's gonna think of you every time she carries it. So I wanted to pop on here and show you, these are so fun, so, so easy to do, but incredibly satisfying. Who knows, this may be a business that one of you will start being able to sell these on your Etsy shop, or if you do crafts fairs, um, it's something great that people would be like, that doesn't look crafty, that looks amazing. So have a great day, guys. Please share this video, tag some friends, tell me where you're tuning in from, what the temperature is in your neck of the woods. And I can't wait to make the announcement of the winner on Thursday when we introduce our new stencils. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.